Hello, everybody. You're here with Claudia Who Beauty with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today I just received my Sonia G Hinoki set pair of brushes. Now I haven't opened them. I wanted to open them with you. Of course, this is the set probably because I can feel there's two and then there's one extra that I order. So I'll share with you. Let's open them up. So I'll open the other one I ordered. This is <laughs> because of course I had to leave the best for the end. So look how beautiful they come wrapped in. All right, so I order this little beauty. This is a uh, Soneji Mini Cheek. If you've been with me and if you watch my channels about brushes, I've been talking about getting this one, which is for highlight. Very small and highlight-like, so I finally did. There you go. We'll be trying that on. And then, of course, the feature items, the two, look how beautiful. Let me open them up. These are the Hinoki set, Hinoki set. There's two, comes wrapped with plastic underneath. And then of course this base that you usually do, let's open them up. So beautiful, look at that. Oh my God, this is so soft. Oh wow, this is as soft as the Wayne Gus, the one which they're not available anymore. And it's one of my favorite brushes, this and the Universal, which is this one. These two are Wayne Gus and they're not available, but the softness, no, I think it's the softness is like the one. This is, I use it for everything. And this one feels as soft, if not even more than the other. Wow. Wow. So this is one of the two. So we'll, we'll get into it. So far, first impression, right? So we're going to open the second one. A little more concision, less fluffy, but as soft. Seems like to be the same hair, but this one seems to have more hair than the other one. So let's see what we have here. So this one obviously is in diagonal. You see this like this, which makes it a lot easier to apply contour or like this. Um, so this is lovely even if I wanted to use it for highlighter. Look at this. So the one I just order, let's see here. Yeah, it's this is well, that's this is that's side by side. But if you notice, so this is a little tiny bit wider like that. And then so different uses, but this is softer. This is very soft. So very, very interesting. All right. So the Hino Inoki set, this is what is just launched. This is brand new. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It says a limited edition brush duo handcrafted with Japanese cypress wood and adorned with an illustration of cranes in flight. Add this special release to your collection before it's gone for good. Okay. So this is a limited edition. It's $120 for both. And what they're referring is crane birds flying. And that is important because they talk about it. It says, I am very much in love with cranes and they are the main theme of Hinoki set. They symbolize beauty, harmony, and grace, as well as happiness and longevity. For this special edition, their silhouettes is illustrated in black on the handles. Well, there you go. Beautiful. I like them. I like the simplicity and the color of the wood. Now, crafted with Japanese cypress wood, it says Japanese cypress or hinoki is a wood prize for its durability, water resistance, and antimicrobial properties. It is also believed to have purifying and calming benefits. Each brush handle is crafted with hinoki wood and topped with a black matte ferrule and silky soft undyed haikoho goat bristles. So these are Saikoho <laughs> goat bristles. So I love the Sonia G handles. I love the, um, the blue and the red. This was the original and she came with this. Um, so I really think these are very comfortable. The blue uh, are, I think, thinner throughout the whole sets. 
so of all of them, I think I prefer the blue ones. I think just just gorgeous, but I really enjoy the red. Uh, so now we're here with this wood. They are a little thicker towards the end. It doesn't end pointy like the other ones. Are they shorter? Um, eh, very little. And But I actually enjoy this pointy part. I am okay with this. It's not a big deal or a deal breaker, but um, I prefer the pointy, but this is lovely. I do like the originality of the crane and, and the, the wood that is raw, but it feels a little soft. Like it says, it's covered. You don't feel like the wood. It feels, um, I guess, with that protector or lacquer or whatever it does. It is waterproof, so that's lovely. It does say Japan, and of course, there's the Sonia G with her logo, which is like a like a fork um, with a sign of money or something like that. It looks more like a devil, <laughs> like a devil fork. Uh, I do have uh, some of her towel and everything and it, everything is with that logo, of course. All right, so let's keep uh, reading here and then we're gonna get to use them, of course. So a full dense brush for applying and buffing and prod on quickly and effortlessly. The versatile size allows for full face application or more precise placement of product. All right. Um, so there's the fluffy angle. Angle brush with a lightweight, airy feel. It's perfect for more precise application of blush, highlighter, and bronzer with sheer buildable payoff. I totally agree with the fluffiness. And uh, yes, if I would apply it for bronzing, that's why I like the diagonal. And like I mentioned, I totally see how this could be used for the highlighter like the one I just ordered. And so this is very interesting. This is much more fluffier. And just to make a difference, this is the Sonia G uh, Cheek Bro. So just for reference, the size, right? All right, so let's use it up. Um, well, what it described there, that kind of bronzing, I have two, I have here the Gucci bronzing, or this one is one of my favorite, which is the Sisley Fido Touch. I love this one. And of course, we can also try the Chantica, which is the new I just bought. So, so many choices, right? They all kind of look similar, but different. I mean, only if you are into makeup, I guess you will make a difference between one and the other, but all of them have different formulas, really. So let's try this one first, the Sisley. So probably this one will need a little more, less fluffy brush, but nevertheless, look at that. Um, I have some blushes that are so light that you're supposed to just pump it like that, but this is a fluffy brush. I wouldn't pick it up like that. Um, so this I would use kind of for the same reasons that we use the Wayne Goss that I showed you at the beginning, which is very fluffy, meaning where I have a blush that has a lot of color payout and I just want light. So, uh, you know what, the first thing that comes to mind is like Pat McGrath. Let's see if he picks it up correctly. I don't know. So I just picked up Divine Blush by just by reaching my hand there. Let's see. And if you've been with me, I hate opening these things. There you go. All right. So this is the Pat McGrath um, Flirtatious. So we're going to grab this. And apply a little bit. So this is a smaller brush and it's supposed to be very um, detailed. So I like how the diagonal part, because it allows for the front to be a little more diffuse, and then this kind of in the back, and you saw how I apply a little bit of the bronzing. So this is great. I like it. Mm-hmm. Now, it, this kind of results, since they're on dye, they're supposed to be good, and it says they're supposed to be good for cream or powder. I wanted to try the other brush on the other side, but I, now I'm tempted to use this same one, but with some kind of, of, of cream. We'll do that on top. So let's now apply this baby. So 
in comparison to the cheek brush my Sonia G cheek brush is a little bigger right now in comparison because this immediately reminded me of the refer and so the refer 24 which is what I would use for cream uh, is this one and so this is what it reminded me of this one is thicker but they're about the same size in there no the refer is a little bigger and but they're shorter so this one this one feels softer this one feels more concise so i always use this brush you know like something i really want to make sure where the blush is supposed to go this one seems a little bit softer it reminds me more of the uh, cheek pro this one is still softer but um, and obviously bigger so let's apply something with cream hmm i wanted to all right i'm gonna pull out some westman atelier let's apply crochet now this is something that probably i would apply here and then Well, it obviously diffuses very, very nicely. Um, so what I mean is, if I would apply it with the refer, I think it will be a little more, um, more, more color, more product because of the, it's so concise. This one is fluffier. So I think it helps quite a bit now um let's try this is very interesting because it's a product that i have a, a struggle and i have bought actually two different brushes to apply which is the uh westman atelier pa de sante which is not cream or powder but it is more creamy consistency let's see what happens with this brush Doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Seems like a little pickup, but did that work? Oh yeah. Oh, I actually think I like it better. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on the other side. Oh, wow. All right, so I'm getting the hang of it. You know, this is the first time using them. So at the beginning, I thought very, very fluffy, but what I think the fluffiness or the softness is doing, I mean, first, my face appreciates it, but second is the way is diffusing the product. And that, my friends, is worthwhile. So it diffuses everything more than the usual. So when you want a product to look sort of diffuse barely there I think this is the blush to get I mean let's apply one of my favorite blushes which is the Dior uh, Dentelle and so we're gonna apply that and this I know how it applies so it will be useful for me to apply something that I'm accustomed to applying with other brushes Mm. oh yeah so definitely this sort of brush the, um, diffuses quite nicely okay mm -hmm. and I've tried all different kind of uh, textures the Sisley Fito touch uh, bronzer very different than the Pat McGrath blush very different than the Westman Atelier the two the blush and the um, loaded, skin loaded, and then of course the Dior. So we're seeing how things perform. Let's do this last thing with the bronzer Gucci. So I'm gonna go like this, and then let's bronze. So this brush has that kind of shape. Oh. And so, uh, 
I will use this for contour, bronzing, and blushing. Very soft and light, perfect for summer. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love this bronzer. I love all the bronzers that I've shown you. So, and then let's highlight. So what kind of highlight should I bring out? Oh, this is a good one. Oh, let me bring the Chanel, uh, one of the ravioli, or what was it? Uh, Persa Lumiere. Uh, I haven't wear this highlight in forever. Oh yeah, should we use this one? Or, let me see here. Yes, we're gonna use this one, which is one of the new ones. Let's take the the brush. Doo, doo, doo. So love the size of it. It is really like they say, you can use it very precise here for the highlight. Oh, so I'm applying the highlight here, right? Let me get the other new brush that I just got different kind of hairs and let's do the other side and let's see if it makes any difference. All right, definitely. So this one is a little more concise. So it applies a little more product. Now it is tiny bit, which is very specific. And then this one, is very fluffy. So again, the highlight of these brushes is the diffusion. It makes it look, look at that. And look at this. This one, a lot more product. This a lot more diffuse. Ooh, I love it. So this is when different brushes are worthwhile because uh, they apply the products in a different way. And this is when you start getting excited about having or owning different brushes. And this is why I have few brushes that I only pull out for certain products, right? Because they work with that product. So um, what I'm learning here is this, two, this set is for diffusing soft, and obviously you can wear cream and powder. Although I think I prefer the the textures are in between, not necessarily cream, cream. And so I think this is very, very lovely and useful and different. And so at the beginning I thought, oh my God, they're both the same size, around the same size. Maybe I shouldn't have ordered this since I have this, but now I just discover with this experiment, they can be used for different purposes for sure. Meaning different uh, finishes. Uh, so I could have used this one, which is a cheek also for like I've been doing, right? But they're different. And now that I apply the highlighter, I see the difference even with the first one I show you when Goss the one, um, this applies different. So this one doesn't diffuse like that. This one is applied uh, sparsely. This one diffuses. And then this one applies more of the product, very straightforward. You see that? You see that? So now I see there's difference between the three and depending on the product and depending on how you wanna apply it. But all right, good. So my final thoughts are, of course, I really, really love uh, this set. It's limited edition and I do recommend it and it gives a beautiful diffuse uh, look. Yeah. Um, all right, and then of course this new addition, um, I'm happy I got. This is a mini chick. I've been eyeing this forever. So I'm very happy. I just noticed the difference and why I would be using. So very happy I got this in my collection. That is it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell. Please comment down below. Did you get these brushes? Are you interested? And uh, yes, they're a little bit on the pricey side in the sense that there's only two for $120. Uh, one of you comment that you will prefer to get a set. 
They have the Lotus set, which I think is so perfect, uh, especially if you're starting out. I think that one is 215, but it has face brushes and eye brushes. So I'll list it down below if you're interested, but, uh, but I believe those uh, will be different of the, what I just mentioned about the fluffiness and everything else. Of course, you don't need to have all of this. It's for <laughs> me that I am a collector. At least that's what I call myself to give permission to get all these goodies. All right. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for watching. Bye.